Hello, so today we are going to discuss how to install Ubuntu 16.04 version on Visual Machine. So here we are going to use a software called Oracle VMware Virtual Box. So in Windows you can just easily install this by just searching this in Google. So let's go ahead. So you can click here in the second link and so you can just download it clicking this button. So I have already downloaded this software and I have installed it. So it's really easy to install VirtualBox. So yeah, I have already installed the software so I'm not going to go ahead with uh, the way of installing VMware here so if you have already installed this you can just double click and here so I have installed already a couple of version of uh, Ubuntu the server version and Windows 10 so here uh, I will try to show you how to do this from the scratch. So the next requirement is we need an image of Ubuntu. So let's go over ahead and search that. Oh, so here we need this desktop version. So we can go ahead by clicking this first link and you can just download it from here so it's very easy I have already downloaded uh, the same version so I'm just gonna go ahead and install this so here you can create a new uh, image or like new virtual machine to run your Ubuntu so you can go ahead uh, click files then you can import an already created one no export these things but let's just click here click new so here we need to create our virtual machine so I'm gonna give a name like Ubuntu desktop okay so uh, this is uh, so there are different kind of distribution so we uh, we have here selected uh, Linux because Ubuntu is a version of Linux and I have downloaded the 64-bit version so I'm selecting here Ubuntu 64-bit after selecting these options you can click next and in this window you can uh, allocate the memory that you are going to provide so simply this amount of RAM you're going to provide so here in this bar it shows the, in this green region it's uh, it's a good range to select so here basically it's if you have like uh, 8 gigs of RAM in your machine so we don't recommend you to use the whole amount of memory so you can just select like or basically two will be fine so I have like 32 gigs with me so I'm just gonna go ahead with 8 gigs or something like that so you can just change here or you can just add any number here so after doing that you can click next so here uh, we're gonna create a new virtual hard disk so so they say the recommended size size is 8 GB so let's go ahead and create a new one so here you're going to select the first option from here the virtual box disk image click it it's already selected for you so click next then here so it asks uh, how many uh, how much amount do you expect uh, in your physical hard text so you can give a fixed size or dynamically allocate 
so the best option should be like fixed size you don't want to ruin the memory in your local machine when you install uh, uh, this image so we're gonna go with fixed size and here you can give it like uh, so basically if you can give like 20 gigs for this so uh, it will be really good so I suggest you to use 20 gigs to create this image because you may have to install many softwares in that and so to keep space for the future work that we're gonna do in this virtual machine so I recommend you to have 20 gigs at least so let's create okay it will uh, create a virtual machine here it's like it's creating a new machine for us so we we'll have to wait for a couple of seconds to finish this step okay just 10 seconds more Basically, it creates a machine with the features that we selected with 8 gigs of RAM and 20 gigs of uh, hard disk memory. So, so it's already there. So here's the machine that we created. So you can right-click, start, normal start. So here what we need to do is like we haven't provided this uh, image that we downloaded so this is the server version that I have already selected but I'm gonna go ahead and select the desktop version so here we double click this so it's there click start so here let me show you It will take some time, so it's like a real machine is booted by a pen drive containing Ubuntu or a disk containing Ubuntu. So this is like a real machine booting. So we're going to install Ubuntu in this machine. So let's wait for it. Okay. Here uh, we have two options, so we're not going to try Ubuntu, we're going to install Ubuntu locally, so we go ahead and click here, install Ubuntu. Okay, here it's recommended that uh, if you can download these third-party softwares while everything is being uh, set it up, so... I'm not going to do this right now because these things are not really important so because we can do it later so I'm just gonna go ahead and click continue okay so here uh, we what we're going to do is like select this option so erase disk and install Ubuntu so the meaning in this uh, options like we have already selected 20 gigs so it's not going to delete something so it's like it's going to use the whole space as it is already empty so this won't do anything to any memory that your local machine is having it's like it's only allocated allocating 20 gigs to work and it's going to erase anything there basically there's nothing there so it's going to like do everything from the scratch is installed so we're gonna do select this option so install now okay yeah can just click continue okay so let's just say maybe 
I think I got it right. Let's click continue. Okay. So I'm not going to do any other changes here. Okay. It's frozen. Okay. Okay. Click continue and go ahead. So uh, let's give your name Cloud Mesh. Virtual box, so I will just select a password. So, okay, we can just encrypt your home folder, but actually, it's not important. But if you want to encrypt, you can just take this. I'm not going to encrypt right now, so let's go ahead. Okay. So this will take a while to uh, install everything and it will install all the necessary files, the terminal and the basic software is needed. So it will just take a while to install everything. Let's just wait for it. Okay, so after these uh, processes and installations have been completed, we get this dialog box. So it says installation is complete. So now we have to reboot the machine. So just go ahead and click restart now. So it will restart the machine uh, for the initial use so it's just wrapping up everything and rebooting the machine let's wait for it okay so here we have done it right so let's just go ahead and press enter okay uh, you don't need to wait over there you can just press enter so here we are so we created this account called cloud mesh so you can just go ahead and enter your password and log in okay let's just wait for it so the machine is booting and setting up the desktops okay so we have installed Ubuntu so you can just go ahead and check everything that you have here so for instance let's take the terminal and okay so you have the desktop downloads and everything here so so pretty much everything is installed so you can just go ahead and install the things that you need and so basically we have completed a complete installation of Ubuntu on a virtual machine so here we used Oracle VirtualBox and uh, for the time being I have skipped the uh, installation part like uh, it takes generally like five to six minutes to install everything so I have skipped that part so you will go through like five to ten minutes based on the performance of your local machine so so we have installed and you can just shut down and now everything is completed so so that's it for now so I think this will help you to install Ubuntu on Windows using Oracle VirtualBox so make sure you download the correct version of Ubuntu so we, we recommend you to use Ubuntu 16.04 uh, you can either select a 32-bit or 64-bit but 
so basically it will be good if you can use 64 bit so that's it for now and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you very much